physics and basketball. I'm doing it with the video clip from Like Mike. I'm going to just let the video play while I uh, explain how physics is in every aspect of basketball. Sorry the project is late, but I had to work all day. But better late than never. Turned it in on Saturday like you asked. Real quick, we can go through it. When you dribble the ball, you put force into it to bounce it back up off the court. Kinetic energy is transferred into potential energy when it bounces back up off the ground. When the ball is released from some height, energy is transferred from potential energy to kinetic energy. That's dribbling the ball. Applying force to a basketball when passing it will allow it to move at a certain velocity. So if you have the ball in your hands, you put a certain amount of force on it and a certain amount of velocity to your target, which is most likely a teammate, then you'll get the ball to them. Applying, the teammate will also apply an opposing force in order to catch the ball softly in their hands and not have the ball hit them. When you shoot, you get ready for a shot by bending your legs to generate more kinetic energy, compressing your legs as you jump up. You release the ball at your apex, which is the highest point of release. When you hold the ball, that's potential energy. When you shoot and let go of the ball, that is kinetic, kinetic energy. Your muscles transfer the potential energy to kinetic energy during your jump shot. Depending on the distance from the run, I mean the rim, you need to apply a certain velocity and force to the ball if you want it to go inside the basket, which Bow Wow has to do in all his shots, I guess, in his fake movie. Layups depend on the force applied to the ball off the backboard. So it's a slight force at a certain angle that causes the ball to go into the basket. Too much force will cause it to ricochet off the backboard and too little will cause it to hit the bottom of the rim and not go anywhere. Blocking, which you don't really see a lot in this movie because Bow Wow doesn't get his bl shot blocked and he doesn't block that many shots. He just dunks on people like he's Michael Jordan. The only forces that act on the ball when it's in the air by itself is gravity, air friction, and air resistance. When enough force is added, such as a hand coming back to block the ball, it results in a change of direction and velocity. So when somebody blocks somebody's shot really bad, they're just ha they're adding so much force uh, towards the ball in the air that it just changes directions and velocity and just gets sent into the bleachers. That's pretty much my video, Mr. Essay. Okay.